be creative is an attempt to kindle your creativity and foster it afterwards this month let us hear lessons from here hi creative kids definitely you might have heard at least something about the immortal artist leonardo da vinci he was a great painter the author of mona lisa and the last supper later generations marked him that it was his wounds that made him wounds making a great artist what a nonsense you might wonder he was born in italy in 1452 and grew up without any formal education he was mostly self educated his early life was one of great poverty still he never compromised on his pursuit for bringing out the creative best how did he sustain his creative flow throughout there is only one answer searching finding and storing images from around to boost his creativity images and inspiration thereof there's no other shortcut to creativity whatever be the runner every art is an image using system in order to create we must have a great stock of images they give us inspiration just as you fill a tank with water fill your mind with lot of images for example i had a childhood friend he lived in a village close to the house was the house of one of his aunts his aunt was a widow and without any children every night he had to stay at the aunt's house that means his childhood life was divided between his own home school and aunt's house every night at the aunt's house he was given the same room and he slept on the same bed there was a patch of dampness on the wall near the ceiling on the facing side of that room every night he saw the same patch days passed by he started conjecturing up imaginative shapes for the dampness One night it appeared to him as the piece of a sky then next day he thought of it as a beetle on another night he visualized an angel out of it needless to say much that year one of the best creations in our school magazine was one written by him it was a story of a boy being taken to the skies by an angel where did it all, where did it all begin from from a patch of darkness on the wall the patch patch gave him the image of an angel it was the beginning of a whole story the rest of the story was worked out by his creative brain what we need as an artist is a seeker's mind we must seek for images from around every image takes us to an experience the experience need not always be felt in reality we can also cook up experiences cooking up of experiences means imagining up experiences got the cue images lead us to imaginations and they in turn lead us to creations sights can give us images so are sounds smells taste and touch that means five senses can give us images the smell of mom cooking her kheer in the kitchen that's an image The sound of her spoon rubbing against the sides of the vessel gives yet another image. The taste of kheer is also definitely an image. Your finger getting burnt on touching the hot kheer gives another image. The touch of sweet kheer on the taste buds on the tongue also gives you a number of images. Stock them all up in your mind. Take this point. Stock all those images up in your mind. Try to recollect them. or to bring them back to your mind days later when you are comfortably seated in the solitude they bring with it lot of associations or applications of the same images in different settings this exactly is inspiration try to cash on them just jot them down on a paper that becomes creative writing okay thank you